take a look at everything. Let me find it. So it's a two-step procedure. One, I cut the stitch, and mm -hmm. then the two, we take out the joint. So I'm going to cut the stitch on each one of these first. That's one stitch. I cut the stitch on the other one. And the other one's froth drain. Good. Now you're gonna count for me one, two, three, and when you say three, I will pull the drain. Okay. Alright, so you're gonna be following. Okay, so you count it down. Three, two, one. Oh. Doing fine. Doing fine. Oh. Alright. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Sometimes pressure helps on the drain. Oof. For better or worse. Worse. Or worse. <laughs> All right. Okay. Take care of that. Okay. Okay. Just clean this green side up here a little bit. Very good. All right, now, you ready for the other one? No! <laughs> <laughs> All right. We can, uh, we can look at those we are in the meantime. Yeah. Now, how many we are now? Eight weeks, is mm -hmm. that right? Yeah. As of today. Yeah, so we can get rid of these stitches for you. Uh, My yeah. question to you. When the stitches get removed, is it going to open? Should are there going to be more that are open? Should not. Okay, let's do it. All right, so you count for me. Okay. Three, two... One. Mm. Oh. You're fine. Oh. You're fine. Mm. All right, out. They're both out. What was that popping? How was the drain release? Oh good. So just because it's been in there a while, those scar tissue would set up. Okay. Breathe. Okay. Alright, there we go. So the drain sites look fine. Let's get rid of the drain. Stop the light. Now is that one opening? I know that's the one that I was putting a gauze as well, but is that one mm -hmm. opening or is it just a, like a scab? I think it's a scab okay. and I think it, at this point it's angry because the stitches are in. Okay. So I, in my opinion, when we get the stitches out now, it should heal better. It should heal better. Okay. Okay. Are you okay? Okay, do you want to speak? Mm -hmm. right. Very good. You can come over here if you want, if you want, totally up to you. Uh, probably right there if you want to see something. So I put a knot, I go under the skin, whoosh, all the way over here, pop out another knot. So the knots are on the outside. So I clip this knot, that knot's gone, I got this knot, and I'm going to pull the stitch from there whoosh, all the way to there. And you're going to see it as it sort of comes through there. Ta -da, ta -da, magic okay, trick. I didn't feel that. Okay, so that one, that stitch went from there to there. Okay. The reason I do that is there are no stitches in you. Okay, so these stitches are coming out. Okay. You also had a, um, was it dissolvable ones that you did? Yeah. So by now, majority of those guys are gone. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I fully believe now, with that stitch gone, those are going to heal up faster. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, we do have, now again, this stitch here, a knot, goes to that knot, okay, and then the, the next section. We have a couple little areas where the stitch is popping through, so I'm going to come in here, and let's see, let's make this as painless. I was live with your uh, surgery today. Oh, okay. Another tummy tuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know what I left? Yeah. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Originally, because I don't really like those. Yeah. You told me it was just, it, you could do a small one, but. Yeah. 
The scar scared me away. Yeah, that's fine, I think. I think your eyes are pretty good. Yeah. Now, again, the stitch knot all the way over, not up outside. So if I pull this guy, it's going to come from just halfway there. And for my next magic trick. Okay, so that's that one. I take my mask off. Sure, you don't want to do the next one? Yeah. Uh, how old are you? 13. 13, yeah. I have a 13 year old daughter. So. I would say having a surgeon for a dad would be very overwhelming. Yes, I think it is. So that's. Yeah. I'm an MA, so she wants to join the medical field too. Yeah, my mom's good. a nurse. Yeah, that's good. There's, uh, you know, a nice thing about healthcare, there will always be jobs. Yep. You know, it's not one of these, oh, in 20 years, we won't need anybody. Mm -hmm. There's that one. And with medicine, it's always evolving. So there's always going to be a need for something, right? Mm -hmm. So for that one, I'm just going to have you lean this side down, that hip up. All right. Yeah. All right. Very good. So, um, there we go. Done. Let's just check belly button. Good. Oh, That's all. Yeah. All right. Very good. 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 I would just do a little pad here where the drains were. Maybe they drip in a little bit. Okay. Oh, cry. Yeah. You want me to stop or? Yeah, can you help me? Two inches Did you just cut? Oh my gosh! <laughs> So we're eating at Beanch's Tacos right now and the music is probably super loud so I'm going to give you guys an update when I am able to about my experience here two months post out getting my drains removed worst pain ever but i will explain to you guys so so we're gonna eat the food i'll show you a little bit of what we're getting and yep yeah, and then we're gonna head back home here's the menu if you're in los angeles area for the speeches tackles place good luck finding parking but in case you want to look super good there's one in in uh, las vegas too really excited to see what it tastes like here. I forgot to record my food, but these are two carnita tacos with a side of refined beans. And then he got a burrito. What kind of burrito was it? Asada. Oh, carne asada. And then she got carnitas as well, but that one with rice. So good. So I'm currently editing this video and realized that I never did come back on here to give you guys an update on, well, basically how that whole appointment went. You kind of got snippets of the appointment, but, and you saw my pain. <laughs> guys, it, getting your tubes, the, your drains out is so excruciatingly painful. However, it also depends on how far out you are um, from surgery, meaning how long your drains have been in. For me, this whole process has been absolutely dreadful. My recovery has not been breezy whatsoever. Therefore, because of that, I was draining a lot more fluid than most. Usually, people get it out one week post-op. Some people maybe three or four weeks post-op. Uh, the norm is one week. However, I also am glad I didn't get it out one week post-op because I've noticed a lot of people get um, seromas 
and it's because these doctors are taking the drains out too early so I am grateful for that however because I was two months post-op the drains had had basically infused with my tissue and therefore they were attached to my body so as he was pulling if you if you like were listening very carefully you can hear the tearing that happened and I felt that tearing it hurt it, it hurt so bad I just ugh, I would not want that pain on my worst enemy it was so bad the pain was bad but then there was a burning sensation that came afterwards not just from the drain site but like on the inside of my stomach it, it was just it was bad so I, I was glad though to have the drains out I was glad to be past that part also the stitch removal that wasn't painful at all it was just um they were already irritated from the Dakin solution that he had me using so they were just tender when he was you know taking it out and clipping so therefore that it, it kind of hurt me just because of that they were already tender um, but overall it that was pretty breezy he just clipped the knots and then pulled out um, and then he did do very little bit of uh, debridement it wasn't it wasn't very much because literally two weeks later I actually ended up going back to the wound doctor and they did actual debridement so um yeah that is that is my update for two months post-op um so sorry that these videos are coming out um slower than they should be but um i will have a current update coming up here soon so please look be on the lookout for that okay um if you are on a recovery yourself i sure hope that you're doing way better than i am right now and that you're loving your results. I am, again, we'll give you an update on all of that soon. Um, love you guys. I will let you get back to the video now. We should be good, but we'll keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we'll keep lighting fires. Fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. The words repeat, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. Fires round ourselves. It's deja vu. Memories come back when I'm with you. It's deja vu. Memories come back when I'm with you. Times set up a stage of lights. Say we're done, say it's over. Shouldn't be coming back. 